Hey guys, how's it going? This is Average Scale Modeler 77 with my third update of this 16 day build. I believe this is maybe the fifth day of the build. I haven't done an update in about two or three days simply because what I've been doing has been plain uninteresting. Um, really just filling gaps and seams um, along the wings and the cowling. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe I should stop using Tamiya Putty. Nothing really wrong with it except the fact that it's kind of crumbly and sometimes it leaves divots in the putty so you have to really sand, sand it hard to get all the imperfections out. And I really don't know how to thin this stuff. I was hoping that I'd be able to thin it with um, some paint thinner or maybe some IPA or water. And I tried all three and that didn't work. So if y'all know how to thin to me a putty, um, that would be pretty cool. I might try and get some dissolved putty so I can brush it on, which is what I was hoping to do with Tamiya, but that that, that doesn't happen. Um, basically, some parts that I've actually glued on and assembled um, are the horizontal stabilizers. The fit wasn't too bad overall. Um, this one caused me a little problem because it didn't want to stay even with the uh, one right here. But I eventually got it with uh, some super glue and some liquid cement so they should be at the same angle uh, this isn't putty right here this is where I had to sand down some excess glue I had on um, I put the gun pods on right here and here not the best fit because there's no indentation in the plastic how to place them so it's really I just kept them straight in line with uh, the two pieces right here I did some dry brushing in the uh, cockpit the silver is on the floor and on the rudder pedal. I think that's a rudder pedal. Um, I also did some dry brushing on the seat, which I think I'm going to take out because I just don't really like it. It looks kind of dumb to me. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, let's see, other things I've been doing. I did some scratch building, actually. I've never really been a fan of scratch building. I don't think I've told you this before, but I thought it was necessary in this case because right here you can see that there's no detail at all in the wheel well which I, th I found to be kind of lame so I got some of uh, this poster tack stuff um it's kind of dirty because it's been at the bottom of a modeling basket for months and I haven't used it a whole lot but really what I did was I just took a chunk from the middle that didn't have hair and paint on it and I just made these uh, thin worm things like this, and then I got some clear tacky glue, this stuff right here. I put a stream, a line down the wheel well, and just put the worm of the glue on the, of the uh, putty right there. And I kind of made those that ribbing effect you get in the wheel well with uh, that raised stuff. I don't know what it's called. But that's basically what I did, and I, I'm pretty happy with the results, actually. Um, So that's that. Let's see, tomorrow I think I might be able to start priming. I need to put the gear doors on real quick. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to start priming. Not sure what I'm going to do about these gaps right here. You can probably see some of the cockpit in there. That's probably because they didn't want you to put the flaps down. They wanted them to be up with this because that would take out the gap. But I wanted it to be a static model on the landing gear, so I kept the flaps down. I might just leave it simply because I'm not going to see it anyways, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's see. I think I told y'all that the tailwheel fit pretty well. There really weren't any problems there. Oh, oh, I know what. I, yeah, so being a pretty old rebel kit, not fitting the best and all, I wasn't expecting the uh, canopy to be very good, like, fit very well but I mean dude I was blown away at how well this thing fit it's super clear by the way and also this is probably the best fitting canopy I think I've ever had in a kit I mean there's no gaps anywhere it, it just slides into place and it's great I mean I was just stunned man like this is incredible how well it fit um you can see all the details still in there the instrument panel, so I mean this is a really great canopy. So if you want to trick out the interior to make it look cool, uh, go right ahead, because you're not going to be disappointed um, without with not seeing the interior, because you will see it, because it's a great canopy part, the best one I've ever had. 
So I'm really happy about that. Also, I did the landing gear, but I've been uh, waiting for putty to dry, which is always a thrill to wait for. I made the landing gear, and this landing gear fit really well. Everything slipped into place nicely. Um, the only thing I'm confused about is um, when you put it in, right there, um, this brace doesn't connect to anything, like there's a gap. So it doesn't touch anything, this bracing part, so I don't know <laughs> what to do with that. Probably won't worry about it too much because it'll be on the bottom. So yeah, that's basically what I've been up to. Tomorrow I'm hoping to get some paint down on this thing, just prime it up a little bit. Uh, see if there's any imperfections I can take out. So, I mean, that's that. So thanks for everyone that's been following the build. I appreciate it. And we're going to start moving along with this painting stuff pretty soon. So I'll catch y'all later. Bye.